When I entertain, I really like putting out cheese and charcuterie. It's a really attractive and tasty way to give people a chance to kind of mingle, chit chat and snack. So let's get started. I have a robiola here. I cannot wait to eat this. It's gonna be delicious. Next up, a cheddar. And last, a nice brie. Make sure you have a couple that are really approachable, that are gonna be really popular and satisfy everyone. And then have one or two items that are a little funky, a little challenging, so that people are trying something new. Next up, I have some meats. Here is a copa. This is a cured Italian salumi. It's amazing. It's gonna go right here. And I also have some summer sausage, but before I put that down, I'm gonna lay down some mustard. And that's because I really like this sausage with a mustardy garnish, and it's a good idea to kind of clue your guests in as to which garnishes are for which item. And this doesn't have to be perfect. It's gonna get partially covered with sausage. This gets the key players down and now it's time to garnish and we're just kind of filling in these empty spaces here. First up, I have some cornichon. They'll be great with both of the meats. Also great with those meats, pickled shallots. And what else do we have? Some peaches. I really like the peaches with the brie and also I think the sweetness will be really nice with the summer sausage. So I'm gonna pop my peaches down over here. Some forks for the meats. That can be right there. If you don't have forks, toothpicks are great too. And last up, crackers. And that's it, just a couple simple tricks for the next time you entertain. Thanks for watching America's Test Kitchen. What'd you think? Well, leave a comment and let us know which recipes you're excited to make, or you can just say hello. You can find links to today's recipes and reviews in the video description. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel. See you later. I'll see you later.